Good evening. Education and community are, at their core, inseparable. The whole way in which we conceive of education, the physical manifestation of it, the school, is a community created for the explicit purpose of learning. And the school always plays an important role in the community, in the good times and in the bad. On Friday, November 6, 2009, I left Tresman High School around 4 p.m. at the culmination of another rather inconspicuous week of my second year as a TFA Corps member. I don't really recall the specific details of my weekend, but what happened that weekend had serious and profound impact on me, even though I wasn't there to witness it. In fact, it wasn't until Monday morning that I heard the news. It was broken to me rather bluntly by a female student as I stood in the hall ushering students into their homeroom classes. That boy Alex in your class was killed, she said. She continued walking down the hall as I stood there jaw dangling in shock, unsure how to process the news that I had just heard. It still hadn't settled in when Mr. Lee turned the corner and walked very purposefully towards my room. Mr. Lee, a heavyset, middle-aged, balding and bearded fellow teacher, stopped in front of me, placed a large hand on my shoulder, and told me what he knew about what had happened. On Saturday night, Alex, a 15-year-old student in my fourth period class, had been shot and killed. I'm sure that I looked pained and disoriented, and Mr. Lee clearly understood the tumultuous thoughts roiling in my brain. He generously offered to cover my homeroom class if I needed a minute and I desperately needed a minute. I walked across the hall to a small teacher's lounge, fell onto the couch in tears, and called my mom without any sense of what to say or how to grasp what I had just found out. I was a 23-year-old deer in the headlights, and the wall of idealism behind which I hid my immaturity and my uncertainty had just been violently shattered. The Frazier community did not accept the murder. Frazier is an impoverished neighborhood in North Memphis whose epicenter is Tresman High School. Our sports games and our artistic performances drew very large crowds. Uh, many members of the community were themselves graduates and alums of Tresman. As a second year TFA Corps member, I could not claim to have taught multiple generations of the same family, but many of the older teachers could. Tresvent and Frazier were literal manifestations of the notions referenced earlier, school and community. As the shock of Monday morning turned into the numbness of Monday afternoon, Tresvent High School transformed itself into a different place. It cast aside its divisions, its flaws, its problems, and instead galvanized around this tragedy. Teary-eyed mourners escorted their peers from room to room. At the beginning of every class, students asked me if we could observe a moment of silence, and older teachers who unfortunately had witnessed such tragedies before offered words of comfort and support. Tresman High School rose to that occasion and the community turned itself into a ray of light that penetrated through the pain being felt both in the school and the broader community. Those two already 
inseparable entities drew closer together that week as we were visited by parents, pastors, and other members of the community who sought to help us assuage our sorrows and also cope with their own grief. The school was the community's pride on Friday nights during football season and on Saturdays for artistic performances, and the school was the community's solace when tragedy struck. My story doesn't have an objectively happy ending, but it has had profound and important consequences for me and who I am and what I believe. And in order to explain how and why, I need you to consider the following questions. What can a good school do for a community? What can student achievement do for a community? In the aftermath of Alex's death, I struggled to focus on my locus, uh, as we say in the TFA world. I constantly asked myself what good I was doing if I couldn't help a student like Alex, a student who at the time of his death had a 97 in my class, a student who I can distinctly remember having to reprimand because it happened exactly one time, a student who was polite, hardworking, intelligent, and kind. If I couldn't help Alex, could I really help anyone? The answer, of course, is yes. I can help. I have helped. I will continue to help. And I must continue to help. The fate of students in our worst schools is the reason that I continue to play my small role in helping to give every student the opportunity he or she deserves. Alex is the reason that I play my small role. And I feel like I now know exactly what good schools bring to a community and what student achievement brings to a community. A good education means opportunity, stability, comfort, and hope. If Alex is the tragic manifestation of the unfortunate life consequences of students in our lowest performing and failing schools, then good schools and the students who learn in those schools create better communities, communities in which no one, whether a nameless, faceless child in any town USA or the son and daughter of someone in this very room, has to fear suffering Alex's fate. Thank you.